So, installing the little heater unit required revamping the uh, battery cable arrangement, and so I've run it under the car instead of through the cabin. And it was an interesting time. I had the grill out and stuff. I want to take a look at how the starter is working. Because I actually run one of these late type 80s, 90s uh, little units. And I run the Preverto flywheel. Now, technically, this has a different ring gear supposed to go with it. This is a 107 tooth Preverto style. And. This starter is designed to run the 129 tooth Verto. So what it does, it turns this engine a little bit faster, I'm thinking. And uh, it also sounds a bit different because the teeth engage a bit differently. But looking at this ring gear and looking at the starter teeth, I think that it's holding up just fine. I expected maybe to see a bunch of shrapnel in here, metal dust or whatever. But it seems to be working, so I'm going to try to go with it. And here's another little thing I can point out here. This engine, I put this thing up on the ramps yesterday and just shut it off because I didn't want it to lurch as I positioned it on the ramp. And I always tell people that these engines shut off in one of two places because of the 180-degree crank. It's a little hard to see if I can get it to focus. But where this happened to stop, you can see right, right there in the middle of it, if I can get in here, those two teeth are chewed up. And that's because it's a used flywheel, and back before I uh, put, to, uh, put this on my engine with this starter, it used the Lucas starter, the inertia type. So that thing would come in and crash those two teeth. And if I turn this thing 180 degrees, I bet you the other two teeth are similarly munched in a little bit. Now this does not affect my engine because the starter I'm using here engages the opposite side, comes in this way, and the starter itself, unhook my phone, is where the bevel is, the bevel teeth. If you look at those early Lucas starters, the teeth are not beveled like this. They're just square teeth, and the bevel is over here on the back side of those teeth. As a result, they get chewed up. But here, since I'm engaging the opposite way, not an issue. So anyway, we're going to put the front pieces back on, maybe do a little bit of detailing here. I got a lot of overspray. And our heater is going together nicely in here. I'll bring some light in and do an update. 